Okay, it's uh, December 1st. <laughs> Ugh. Shivers. Uh, don't like that month. Um, and uh, this is the good news. And uh, yeah, sorry about my appearance, but I get here, uh, go to my dressing room, no shirts, no razor, nothing. Nothing. I mean, you know, I hate this place. I hate this job. God. All right, anyway. All right, so um, I go to the news, and, you know, they always have something stupid there. And they have this stupid link, and I, I had made a mistake of clicking on it. You know, I haven't watched 60 Minutes in, like, 20 years, like, since the main story was, like, ice cream and tennis. And I said, oh, fuck these. No, they actually did a show on Noah's Ark. That was the one. That was the one that put me right over the fucking edge. They did a show on Noah's fucking Ark. And they put a goddamn ark made out of fucking popsicle sticks in a goddamn fucking bucket to prove that they could make a goddamn ark. Oh, I want to kill whoever. I can't remember who did it. Oh, I hate that. Ooh, that segment made me so damn mad. So that's the last time I watched fucking 60 Minutes. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I go to this you, 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 Yahoo News, and I got this stupid link, 60 Minutes, blah, blah. And it's all these fucking segments of all these rich fucks in the internet business, you know? The Google jackasses, and uh, fucking Bill Gates and all this other bullshit, you know, all the little segments they did on these rich and famous jackasses. And, you know, it's all this fluffy bullshit, you know. And, oh, it made me so sick. I mean, Bill Gates talking, you know, I was so smart. I was so much smarter than everybody else in my class. It was like I was way above them all. I was so brilliant. The guy came up with the idea to rent an uh, operating system to IBM. I mean, the only thing that proves is that IBM was a fucking moron. Doesn't prove Bill Gates is a fucking genius. God damn it. He'd be nothing without that rental agreement. I mean, they were stupid enough to rent an operating system. Isn't that brilliant? Bill Gates buys it from a guy for a couple hundred thousand bucks and then rents it to IBM for fucking millions of dollars. I mean, that's how he created fucking Microsoft. Oh, I hate these rich fuckers. Don't do a goddamn thing in the world. Where, where, where's the evidence of their impact on anything? A bunch of bullshit. Ooh, I hate rich people. Hey, this isn't the fucking news. This is just me ranting. Okay, news. All right. Uh, hey, there was this Hillary Clinton thing. Uh, crazy guy, 46 years old. Yeah, this is the time when you go a little loony. Uh, you know, to, you know, domestic abuse, some other problems in his life. Um, but he goes to Hillary Clinton's uh, campaign office and says, I need mental health care, and I have a bomb strapped to me. And I liked it. They described it as a bomb-like package. You know, and apparently that's all you need is a bomb-like package. And so, um, it was some flares, I guess, you know. Well, anyway, I took some hostages, said, oh, I want mental health care or else I'm going to be crazy, you know. Well, anyway, so they talked him out of his whatever. And, um, you know, probably have him a nice, you know, straight jacket or something for his trouble. Uh, okay, what the hell is this? Oh, the football guy. You know, the, these four kids, like, you know, 18 to 20 years old, 17 and 20, yeah. You know, they shot that football guy in the leg and he died. You know, so you get shot in the leg. Jesus Christ, the first thing I would tell people about is like compression. You know, it's just even the femoral artery. You get hit in the fucking leg in a femoral artery. If somebody gets hit in front of you or something happens to them and they're bleeding, you know what you should do? Stop the bleeding, fucker. You know? Compress it. Put a rock on it. Do whatever you fucking have to do, but stop the blood from coming out and then the person might live. But apparently nobody did this for this footballer guy. Um, uh, so anyway, so anyway, he died, so yeah, they're going to charge these guys with murder and all this other stuff, but, you know, stupid, you know, fucking, and, and the, the funny thing, the lawyer said something like, um, they targeted him for his wealth, <laughs> that made it all the more disgusting, what the fuck, what are they supposed to target him for his poverty, I mean, get real, I mean, now targeting people for wealth is a hate crime, uh, you know, who, huh? what? That's what criminals do. They target people that have money. They target people that see they want stuff. They target people that have stuff. That's the definition. Jackass. That's an attorney. That came from an attorney. Smart fellows, these attorneys. <sighs> oh, yeah, then the great, great line was, um, they ought to put him in the, they ought to put them in the Miami River and, and, and have them float away. I didn't even know the fucking, the, the Miami River? There's such a thing? Miami's right on the fucking coast, you know? You know, they'd be like, what? You put them in the Miami River and they float away for, what, five minutes? How fucking far can the Miami River be from fucking goddamn the ocean, damn it? So, yeah, you just float away to the beach. They'll appreciate that. 
a nice little float to the beach. Uh, lawyers. All right, anyway. 40% increase in fuel economy. Yeah, the Democrats, they have an energy proposal, right? And so it's just bullshit, though. You know, they've compromised it to pieces. And so by the year 2020, they're going to increase the average mile per gallon thing to 35 miles per gallon instead of the 27.5 it's at now. Um, you know, news flash. You know what they're going to be in by 2020? You know, we're going to have golf carts, you know, a GM golf cart. And, uh, you know, that's how the. Well, look at our fleet. We have these golf carts, and we have these Yugos, and we have these, you know, they're going to have a bunch of little tiny cars, you know, that'll get 900 miles to the gallon, but no one will buy them, but, you know, they'll have them. I mean, why not? You know, go to the grocery store, get in the golf cart, and go to the grocery store, you know? Uh, so people will learn that kind of stuff. They'll figure that shit out if gas stays at $3 a gallon. You won't even need this regulation because people are going to say, hey, fuck, I ain't taking that SUV to the store. Fuck that. Where's the golf cart? Uh, so anyway, uh, Evil Knievel, dead, 69 years old. I thought he was already dead. Yeah, it's kind of funny. He's one of those people that just dies a lot of times. Um, you know, can't say anything bad about him. You know, he's, he's said some funny lines in his career. I mean, I think he was the guy who said the first, you know, one of the guys said that, like, yeah, I made $60 million this year. Unfortunately, I spent $61 million, you know. Um, asshole, but, you know, you got to admire a guy who, you know, half the time he knew he was going to crash. I mean, he knew it. I mean, you know, I remember one of the places, I mean, there was no fucking way anybody on earth could land the, the, the jump. You know, he jumps with the motorcycle, and he knew the only way he was going to survive is he's going to have to crash. He was going to have to jump off the motorcycle, you know, basically knock the motorcycle down and slide. Because there's no fucking way there wasn't enough time for him to get to slow down before he hit a fucking wall. And it's just like, you know, you got to have balls to do that shit, man. Fuck, you know you're going to crash, and you say, ah, what the hell, do it anyway. I love my fans. Phew. Anyway, okay, Hugo Chavez, uh, you know, the Venezuelan guy. Yeah, you know, they're making a big deal out of this, but he's just doing the basically the, you know, George Bush would probably like to do it if he could. I don't even know, though. George Bush, I don't think, wants to be president anymore anyway. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, they're just going to rewrite the Constitution and say, yes, Hugo, you can be president until you're 95. Um, you know, so people are probably going to go for it because, yeah, they're on the fucking map. I mean, this guy is crazy and he's a little eccentric and at least puts them on the map. I mean, they, they're nobody without somebody, you know, like him. So, yeah, they're, they're probably going to go for it. I called it stupid. No called stupid. Oh, that's the Bill Gates thing. No called stupid. I don't know why the hell I'd say that. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah, no one ever called him stupid. Yeah, I just fucking called him stupid. I think he's a fucking idiot. That's right. I'm calling Bill Gates stupid. There, it's official. Bill Gates is uh, one stupid motherfucker. There, I said it. This dead girl in Kansas. Uh, yeah, they have this story. Call her a porn star on the internet. I mean, yeah, she did some nude photos and shit and maybe kissed another girl or something. And they're making it out to be like, whoa, 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 way too much. And, uh, you know, no big fucking deal. Uh, but apparently she did go out with it, you know, picked up some guy at a bar. He picked her up. Some kind of, you know, sounds like a Mexican guy with a 16-year-old pregnant wife. And apparently found all her blood in his fucking hotel room. So they're looking for that guy now. But it seems pretty clear what happened. So then, yeah, Canada. Still your killer guy in Canada. You know, they got this, they sentenced him. You know, they're, they're going to, like, have 400 trials for this guy because they killed 37 women. They know over 32 or whatever, but he claims 50. <clears throat> well, he claims 49 because he was on his 50th, and then he was going to quit and then do 25 more later. But, uh, yeah, apparently fed them to his pigs. He has a pig farm. So, you know, some people might have been indirectly eating the dead people. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, why did he even buy, you know? Jeez, there's a point where you just say, God damn it, this is just too much to take. You know, you just find some way to, you know, trash compactor or something. You know, just get him out of here. It's done, finished. Ugh. Uh, okay, what the hell is this one? Taser guy. All right, apparently there's a YouTube video. I have to watch it. It's been viewed a million times. Some guy got tasered by the cop because he walked away from the cop and apparently was going to open his trunk for something, but didn't. Anyway, there's a woman in the car and the cop said, you know, get back in that car, I'm going to fucking taser you too, bitch, or arrest you. And, uh, you know, it's another way he stories, you know, the cop, other cop shows up and says, yeah, he's taking a ride on the tra taser train, or whatever the hell he said. <laughs> you know, it's like the gorillas of the mist thing, you know, with the Rodney King thing. I and mean, these cops, they convict themselves with own fucking words. You can tell they have a shitty attitude. It's all fun and fucking games for them. Yeah, I fucked over a guy today. Ha 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 ha. Fuckers. Okay, uh, Sudan. Sudan Crazy was with the, uh, the fucking woman with the fucking teddy bear shit, with the, calling it Mohammed. I mean, what can you say? I mean, these people are all retarded. I mean, they need some vitamins or they need something, but the hell out of their freaking minds. I mean... Damn, I don't know what you can do with people like that. I don't know why people are even bothering over there with trying to educate these people if this is the kind of crap that goes on. I mean, you know, we ought to just send them the education by way of internet or something. All right, then, let's do this one. Oh, Korea. You know, there was this like, Korean story apparently a couple days everybody fell for it. Some guy said, oh, he died because his cell phone blew up. 
And it's like, you know, somebody didn't figure that one out right away. Like, that's got to be a pile of shit because they found a battery in his pocket. So his cell phone blew up. And that's why he has, you know, 16,000 internal injuries. No, apparently got hit by a drilling truck, whatever the fuck a drilling truck is. But, uh, yeah, so it was a co-worker of his, you know, hit him, put him in the car, shoved the battery in his pocket, blah, blah, blah. And uh, people fell for it for at least a day. These people are assholes, idiots, morons, even in Korea. All right, so I don't know how much time I used. I don't know how much time I went way past. So I'm going to be maybe really accelerated voice, and people don't like that. But until I think of some other solution, that's the way it's going to be. And I don't care because I'm not getting paid, and I don't have no damn shirts in my dressing room, and ain't no goddamn razor, and I usually have some goddamn jelly beans and some goddamn uh, peppermint pie, you know, those little patties with the mint in them. Usually some of them in a dish. Nothing. Not a fucking goddamn thing. Goddamn people here suck. That's the end of the fucking news. See, I'm getting up. I'm leaving the news studio.